Hi everyone, I'm Robin Wagner, the Vice President of International Insurance at TransUnion. Now, everyone talks about data being the modern or the fuel of modern industry. And data, it's true, does feed many processes from acquisition of customer to quote underwriting to management right through to the claims process efficiency. But an important point that is often overlooked is the quality of the data going into those processes. Because quality affects efficiency. Efficiency affects output, either driving up cost or driving up profitability. So today I want to illustrate the importance of assessing data quality. When you pull up to the pump in your car and diesel is less than petrol, do you put diesel in your Ferrari? because it's lower cost. So I want to illustrate the, 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 the importance of evaluating the quality of data through one simple example. So let's have a look at two companies, company A and company B. And company A is a provider of, company A is a provider of data, and that data costs 20 cents per record. Company B provides data at a cost of double, 40 cents per record. Company A's RPC, and RPC is right party contact. I'm going to give you a marketing services illustration today. Right party contact rate is 60%. Company B's RPC, right party contact rate, is 70%. So what that means is when you contact uh, a customer through your data-driven marketing initiatives, either through WhatsApp, messaging, email, or telemarketing, you're getting through to the right person. So when you're contacting Robin Wagner and you get me on the end of a telephone, for example, and you say, hi Robin, how are you today? And I reply and say, no, this is Maureen Williams. Um, please be gone with you. Um, your likelihood of success is a lot lower. So RPC is a big, is a big driver of, um, of success. So what I'm now going to talk about is this is a telemarketing outbound campaign example. The cost per call is $1.50 and we're going to run a campaign of a million records. Okay, one million records. And the lead to sale ratio, I'm going to keep constant at 2%. All right, so company A, data cost is $200,000. B, data cost is $400,000. The call center cost is the same for both, one, one and a half million, one and a half million. Total cost for company B is 1.9, for company A it is 1.7 million. Now, an effective measurement of um, uh, of success is the cost, the ultimate cost per policy, your acquisition cost that it takes for you to acquire that policy. Right, so if the RPC um, in company A is 60%, that means that we get hold of 600,000 of the right customers. In company B, we get hold of 700,000. When we apply the conversion of 2%, um, let me just pick up another pen here to highlight, we're looking at a number of sales for company A of 12,000 and for company B of 14,000. Now, cost per policy, CPP, is effectively your total cost of acquisition divided by the number of sales. So that would be 1.7 divided by 12,000. And this would be 
1.9 divided by uh, 14 14,000. Okay. So here, our total cost of acquisition, I've got it up here on my PC, is $141. And for company B, it's $135. So whilst company A, the cost of the data to allow for the segmentation to process the leads through a call center is half the price of company B. Due to company B's stronger right party contact, the actual cost per policy is $6 less. And this doesn't even talk to the impact that better data would have on the lead to sale ratio. Okay guys, so before you go to the, before you go to the petrol station um, and think about putting diesel in your Ferrari, just look downstream and understand the impact of quality um, on the processes that you're driving in your business. Thank you.